Let's begin with new information in the case of alleged serial killer Bruce MacArthur, charged today in Toronto with a sixth count of first-degree murder. Police giving a sense of just how far this investigation could reach. I don't think it's just going to be months. I would say it's going to go into the years. Here's what's new tonight. MacArthur appeared in court via video to be charged with the murder of Skandaraj Navaratnam, who was last seen leaving a Toronto bar in September of 2010. The lead investigator was blunt that more charges are expected. Police found the remains of at least six people in planters linked to MacArthur's landscaping business. Three have yet to be identified. What's more, hundreds of unsolved cases, including missing persons, are being examined. And for the first time, the detective confirmed his investigation reaches beyond Canada. We are tracing his whereabouts uh, as far back as we can go, essentially. As long as we're finding things, uh, it's not getting pared down. It will get expanded. Joanna Romiliotis has been pushing the story forward since it broke five weeks ago, and she's back on the case today. Yesterday. In the moments before going public with the latest, a grim huddle. They're veteran cops, and they've never seen anything like it. What's worse, the numbers just keep climbing. We have now identified the remains of three individuals from these planters. Number one being Andrew Kinsman, number two being Sarush Mahmoudi, and number three being Skanda Navaratnam. There are now three lives attached to the dismembered remains of six people found in planters at a property where Bruce MacArthur stored his landscaping tools. Andrew Kinsman was the first to be named last week. Today, two more, Sarush Mahmoudi and Skandaraj Navaratnam. The first individual was identified through fingerprints. The next two were identified through dental records. And DNA analysis is still outstanding on the remaining three sets of remains. Navaratnam is the latest victim named, and police have now charged MacArthur with his murder too. Skanda, as he was known to his friends, was the first man known to have gone missing in Toronto's gay village in 2010. He was part of Project Houston, the first police probe into the disappearance of several men in the area. CBC News has learned he dated MacArthur and worked with him as well. But until now, police did not have the evidence to name MacArthur as a suspect. It was sort of a relief to know that he, he was found. Jean-Guy Cloutier was Navaratnam's best friend and the one who reported him missing nearly eight years ago. Today, he wasn't able to face a camera. I hope that it was, uh, it was quick and he, he didn't suffer or he wasn't put through uh, torture. Uh, I'm just hoping that even though the outcome is so hor hor horrific, that, uh, that he was, you know, he, he did that, he didn't have to suffer. It is a horrific end, and it's far from over. Police have gone through 20 planters in all. They haven't found other remains, but say they have leads pointing them to more victims. And say there are multiple crime scenes, including MacArthur's apartment, where they plan to be for at least another month. At the home where the remains were found, the search is suspended. It will resume in spring when the ground has thawed. Police say they are looking at up to three other properties as well. He just completely vanished. Judy Riley is bracing for what they might find. She made this video about her brother John Riley after he went missing in 2013. Now police are investigating whether MacArthur has anything to do with his disappearance. We reached Riley in Hawaii, where she lives. How do you feel about the fact that there might be this connection? I'm terrified. I do not want this to be the end like, of the story of my brother's life. You know, for this gifted, amazingly generous, kind, gorgeous creature, it's, I do not want this to be his, his, the end of the story for him. And Joanna's in our studio. What are police saying about identifying those, those three sets of remains? Well, they say they hope to have an update in about a week. And they do also say that it may be a challenge identifying those remains, especially if those victims were never reported missing. And then they wouldn't have something to match them to. 
And right now, there's no indication that Bruce MacArthur is cooperating. So, so if they never identify those remains, what does that mean for the cases where charges have already been laid? Well, police have always said they have a very strong case already. And keep in mind, they laid those first-degree murder charges before they found the planters and the remains in them. So they have other evidence. We don't know what it is, but there is speculation that evidence includes DNA, photographs on MacArthur's computer. Like I said, we don't know. But former investigators that we've spoken to say for police to lay first-degree murder charges, the most serious charges available. The evidence must be very strong and incriminating. All right, Joanna, thank you. You're welcome.